Hello guys, welcome back to Mikey Reacts. Thank you very much for joining me on another video. Today, we're gonna have a great video for you. I'm still on that kick of learning about new uh, and obscure things about the United States. Today, it's gonna be the most iconic food in every state. Um, this is this is actually by insider food, so let's see if they copyright this and let me use it. But we're gonna make the video anyway and hope that it goes out. So. Um, before I do this, comment down below which state are you from, um, what do you think your iconic food is that they're going to show on the screen here, and do you eat it and do you enjoy it, and is it really that iconic? So let me know what you think, I want to know not just from um, these shows, but I want to know from the people that live there, I want to know from you guys, the real human beings that live in these states, and I want, you to, I want to know about your experiences with this food, what it means to you. Because obviously I have that kind of same experience in the UK and also my family being of Greek heritage. Um, I also have the same experience with Greek food also. So uh, let's get to the video. If you want to support this channel, you know exactly how. There'll be a button just below here that you can donate to the channel. It's like a super thanks with a love heart. Um, it really, really helps the channel keep going and me making videos. So any donation is appreciated even a dollar is actually incredible for this uh, channel. We really, really, really appreciate it. I keep saying we, it's me. I appreciate it. I'm doing this alone in my uh, living room or my, uh, what do you, do you guys call it a living room in the US? Anyway, but failing that, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. That is absolutely incredible for us too. And comment down below any more videos you think I should watch along this line. Uh, and what else I should learn about the United States of America. So let's get to the video. Let me hit play here. There'll be an advert for sure. Yeah. Seen that A in the one of time? Grammarly makes editing one click simpler. We can help make complex rewrites. Cool. Oh, for those of you who think that I drink Starbucks every single day, it's actually not. It just happens to be a Starbucks cup that someone got me. So. I do make my own black rifle coffee. Um, but let's get back to the video. Air conditioning. From Maine lobster rolls to New York pizza, here is each state's favorite food. Alabama's pick is smoked chicken with white sauce. Chicken is smoked for hours and then dumped in a tangy white sauce. That actually sounds amazing. Alaska commercially harvests more than 100 million salmon a year. Yeah, Alaska sounds amazing. It can be cooked a number of ways. Grilled, smoked, cured, mm, you name it. Mm, the Sonoran good. dog is originally from Mexico, but is extremely popular in Arizona. The bacon wrapped hot dog is topped with beans, onions, tomato, and a drizzle of mustard and jalapeno salsa. Wow. Arkansas takes its cheese dip very seriously. Okay. There's even a world cheese dip championship in Little Rock every year. No. 90% of the avocados produced in the U.S. come from California. Yeah, we know and that. And it's not just guacamole and avocado toast that's being made. There are avocado burgers. Guys, if you're from California, let me know because we all know that Californians love their avocados. Love them. Fries, chocolate, and even beer. Oh, really? Rocky Mountain oysters are a Colorado specialty. And they're not oysters. They're bull testicles. I, I know that. They're deep fried bull testicles. Yeah. Some say they taste like gamey calamari. New Haven style pizza, also known as a pizza, is characterized by its coal fired thin crust. It originated at the Frank Pepe Pizzeria, which is also known for its white clam pizza. That looks good to be fair. Chicken and slippery dumplings is a Delaware <clears throat> comfort food. Okay. These slippery dumplings are rolled out paper thin and cut into large rectangles. Oh, cool. The Cuban sandwich is made with ham, roast pork, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. I've had one they're and they're absolutely by amazing. Immigrants in Florida. Yes, the Cubana. Ugh. The peach cobbler is one of the most popular desserts in Georgia. I love a peach cobbler. I make them like tw two or three times a year. Not that often, but I love a peach cobbler. Especially since the peach is the official state fruit. Yes, sir. Poke oh, is native to Hawaii. It consists of diced raw fish such as salmon or tuna tossed in sauce. Nice. I've had that Idaho before. Idaho grows nice. the most potatoes in the U.S. These potatoes are made into french fries, chips. In fact, 
when I was working in restaurants back in the days um, in the UK, we actually used to import Idaho potatoes because they were very, very good. Um, and I also know that uh, Five Guys, I believe, in the US pretty much exclusively uses Idaho potatoes. The other carb delights. While there is a debate on which restaurant has the best, it's irrefutable that Chicago deep dish pizza is a must have. Okay. The gooey treat is baked in a pan and full of cheesy Ooh, goodness. that looks so good. Indiana loves its pork tenderloin sandwiches, especially when they're fried to crispy perfection. That's a lot. These sandwiches amazing. are known for being bigger than your face. Oh, wow. The Made Right sandwich is a loose meat beef sandwich. Okay. It's kind of like a sloppy joe without the sauce. Okay. It can get a little bit messy, but it is totally worth it. Ooh. Kansans love their barbecue ribs. Oh. Baby backs are coated with special rub and smothered with finger licking barbecue. For me right now, guys, it is 8.40 in the morning in the Middle East, and I am having a craving for baby back ribs, and you can't find them here in this country. <laughs> you, can't, you can't really find pork. The hot brown is an open face sandwich consisting of turkey, tomato, mornay sauce, and bacon. It's put oh. under a broiler until crispy and brown and was invented in the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. Wow. Gumbo is a Louisiana treasure and also the state's official cuisine. The dish has its roots in many different cultures, including African, French, and Choctaw. Yeah, Often served from a big pot, it's filled with chicken and sausage or a seafood medley. That looks so good. Lobster rolls rule in Maine, especially since 90% of Maine US lobster. lobsters are caught off the Maine coast. Yeah. A lobster roll is piled high with large chunks of lobster wow. with little to no fillers. Marylanders are obsessed with crab. Oh. And one of the best ways to I eat it is crab cake. Just don't forget to add some Old Bay. What's Old Bay? Your food is Season. more iconic in Massachusetts than clam chowder. Clam chowder. This creamy soup is filled with vegetables, cream, stock, and clams. Get it in a bread bowl to make it extra special. Oh. Mackinac Island Fudge is a must have in Michigan. There are over 13 fudge shops, collectively making more than 10,000 pounds of fudge daily during oh, the amazing. season. Making Mackinac Island America's fudge capital. That looks amazing. Nothing screams Minnesota more than tater tot hot dish. Vegetables, What's that? ground beef, and cream of mushroom soup are topped with tater tots and roasted to golden perfection. Is that a thing, guys? You can find the best fried catfish in Mississippi. Mm. Not surprising, since the state is the world's leading producer of pond-raised catfish. Oh, another ad book. Were you expecting someone else? Cool. Toasted ravioli is St. Louis's fun take on the pasta dish. Ooh. Each ravioli is breaded, fried, and served with marinara sauce. That sounds amazing. Pasta berries are grown in the northwestern United States, especially in the mountainous parts of Montana, and they can be made into. Oh, is that where the word, is that where huckleberry comes from? I mean, why do they call him Huckleberry Finn? Oh, so it's an actual berry. Okay, cool. I'd like to try some. You get it. Chili with a cinnamon roll is a match made in heaven. No. This pairing has been served as a school lunch in the Midwest since the 1960s. What? Pre coronavirus, buffet culture was big in Las Vegas. Yes. Prices range from oh. $5 for a breakfast. I've been to Vegas twice. The buffets, out of this world. Buffet just $65 at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace, yeah. which included unlimited prime rib and crab legs. Oh, so good. Those apple crab cider legs. donuts are a New England favorite. New Hampshire is home to many apple orchards, okay. including the oldest continuously operated one in America, wow. Apple Crest Farms. Saltwater taffy dates back to the 1880s in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I love saltwater taffy. A mixture taffy. of corn syrup, sugar, and butter is stretched Ooh. until it becomes aerated, then individually wrapped. The New Mexico chili is a staple ingredient in New Mexico cuisine. It starts out as a green pepper and ripens mm -hmm. into a red one. It's often roasted or made into a puree. Mm. New York pizza is legendary. I love New York Some pizza. Some say it's the New York City tap water that gives the dough its characteristic foldable yet crispy crust. There are two barbecue styles in North Carolina. East I will say this, I've had pizza from Italy, I've had pizza from New York. Pizza from New York wins every time.
Eastern and Lexington. Eastern lays claim to whole hog barbecuing, while Lexington style mostly uses pork shoulder meat with a ketchup-based sauce. Nefla soup is rich and creamy, filled with potato and small dough balls. Ooh. This dish comes from the German Russians who settled in North Dakota. Okay. The Buckeye is a peanut butter ball dipped in chocolate. Ooh. It resembles the nut of the Buckeye tree, often found in Ohio. Wow. Chicken fried steak is the epitome of Southern comfort. I love food. chicken fried steak. A large piece of beef steak is breaded and pan fried, and you can't forget the gravy. Oof. The Marionberry pie is an Oregon favorite. Okay. The Marionberry was actually created at Oregon State University as part of a berry developing partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture it's not in the early 1900s. The Philly cheesesteak is world famous. Mm. A hoagie roll is loaded with an absurd amount of beef steak. Oh. Then provolone or cheese whiz is added on top. Stuffed clams, also known as stuffies, are a local favorite in Rhode Island. That is good. Giant quahog clams are stuffed with clam, herbs, and breading. You've got to try a low country boil in South right. Carolina. That is something I really want to try. Sausages. That is something I really badly want to try, guys. So much. Potatoes, corn, and some old bag. Chislick is pieces of cubed red meat, Ooh. typically lamb, venison, or beef. It's usually grilled or deep fried. German and Russian immigrants are credited with bringing the dish to South Dakota in the 1870s. Wow. Memphis style ribs can be prepared dry or wet. Dry ribs are covered with a dry rub, while wet ribs are brushed with sauce throughout the cooking process. That looks so good. Texas goes big for barbecue. Oh yeah. It's especially known for its juicy fall off the bone ribs oh and tender God. briskets that have been smoked all day. Oh. Jello is so popular in Utah that it's the official state snack. No. Utah culture is closely tied to Mormon culture, which yeah. also loves Jello. Really? Vermont is the leading producer of maple syrup in the US. Tree sap is boiled into sugar and then filtered into syrup before making its way onto your pancakes. Smithfield ham is a hometown favorite for that Virginia. Really good. It's a specific form of ham cured in Smithfield, Virginia. Okay. Coffee culture is big in Washington. Home to coffee giant Starbucks, the state also has many independently owned coffee shops to fuel your caffeine cravings. West Virginians love their pepperoni rolls. They were invented as an easy lunch meal for coal miners that in 1920. That looks really good to be fair. Wisconsin is considered cheese. the cheese state, yeah. and one of the best ways to eat cheese is cheese curds. Whether they're eaten fresh or deep fried, they make an awesome snack. Ooh. Bison steaks are popular in Wyoming. Ooh, I'd like to try they're that. They're described as having a lighter, slightly sweeter flavor than beef. Ooh, I'd like, I'd, I want to try a bison steak. You can get, I just came back from South Africa and you can get interesting things like water buffalo steak and, and, and zebra and stuff like that. Um, but that, yeah, that, that that's, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like I said, it's like, it's not even nine o'clock in the morning and I want to eat a full buffet of food. Um, that te Texas barbecue and um, the, uh, the was, it, is it, was it a Louisiana boil? Was it, was it Louisiana? Or just, just that seafood boil. It has really got me going today. But um, there we are. 50 states. I'm assuming that was all 50 states. Yeah, 50 states. 50 different foods. They all look absolutely amazing. I would love to visit every state in the Union. Um, I don't know if it will ever happen for me. I pray that it does because the food... Well, not just... Aside from the food, I, wanna, I know that every state has its cultural differences. I want to meet new people. I want to see what every state's about, and I love the I love the physical geography of the United States. It's so it's such a beautiful country. Like even just the big wide open plains is uh, is something beautiful to me too. Um, so I really do want to see the entire United States. Actually, for my honeymoon next year, we are planning on doing a U.S. road trip, taking forty days and going to as many places as possible. Um, that is the dream. So. Um, I would love to visit as many states as I could. Um, and if you guys are ever around, uh, I'm in your state, we'll go for we'll go for a nice cold beer. Um, if we can find a beer that isn't getting political. Um, so, yes, guys, that was absolutely amazing. So thank you very much uh, for that recommendation. I am so hungry right now. It's unbelievable. 
I try not to eat before midday, um, but that is absolutely incredible. So honestly, guys, thank you very, very much. Thank you for your support. And I'm, I will see you on the next video. If you want to support me, you know exactly how. But thank you so much for watching this video. You guys are absolutely the best. God bless you. Honestly, God bless you. And um, oh, I've got a hankering for ribs now. Anyway, guys, see you on the next one.